Ready, 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 ready. I'm ready. Take a look at this man. What do we got here? See, what right here? See, we have some equalities. What we have is rational equalities. Or, yes, the meaning that um, two rational expressions are equal to each other. I have two similar examples. The second one is to make sure that you check it. Okay, uh huh. When in doubt, factor first. And we're going to perform that factorization up here on this blue example. Okay, ready, 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 eight divided by x squared and x plus three, x minus three. Uh huh. And convenient for us, it just happens to be the denominators of my other terms in this equality. Plus four over x plus three, t he, t he, two over x minus three, t he. Tee okay, what do I need? I need a common denominator. Cause like just the linear equations when you had fractions, uh-huh, and you wanted to clear those fractions, how did you do it? You multiply both sides by a common denominator. So if I'm looking up here, say, get out the way, uh-huh. Um, if I'm looking up here, say, um, what would a common denominator be if I had one? Yes, I do believe that my common denominator, see these, is gonna be x plus three, x minus three. And you only need to do a few of these to see. What you do is you take this numerator, eight, and you multiply it by what its denominator is missing that the common denominator has. It's not missing a dang thing. So why don't I just put one? Uh-huh. Plus this numerator, yes. I'm gonna multiply it by what its denominator is missing that the common denominator has. What's this denominator missing that the common denominator has? Oh yeah, it appears that it's missing that factor of x minus three. T he, t he, and then it's gonna go and it's gonna be equal to this numerator two. Oh, and we're gonna multiply that two by what its denominator is missing that the common denominator has. What's its denominator missing that the common denominator has? I believe its, its denominator is missing that factor of x plus three. Uh huh. Okay, so what we're left is a linear scenario. So here we go, yo. Here we go, yo. That's eight plus four x minus 12. That's gonna be equal to two x plus six. Oh boy. Get the collection combined. Four x minus four. That's gonna be equal to two x plus six. Finish him. I got x's on both sides, one I'm on one side. Which side? Don't care. Subtract off that two x. Subtract off that 2x, oh, 2x minus four is equal to six. Yes, Adam. So then 2x is equal to 10 division, and x is equal to five. Okay, uh-huh. Now you need to check some. Does it make this denominator zero? No. Does it make this denominator zero? No. Does five make that denominator zero? No, five, you are a solution. A box. Whoa, whoa. And a separational flower. I'm done, I'm done, and I'm on to the next one. This next one, we're gonna do it just like that last one. Okay, sure, but here we need to make sure that we jack it. Uh huh. Mm. Mm. It's pretty low. Okay, yeah, I'm back up here. Ooh, -wee. factor first. I'm gonna have one over x minus one. Yeah, plus one over x plus one. And then that's gonna equal two over x plus one. X minus one. Yeah, that's fine. He goes fast. Well, you can pause and rewind. Okay, yeah. Um, I see my common denominator here. It's gonna be x plus one, x minus one. Yeah, that's fine. So I take this numerator, one, and I multiply it by what its common, what its denominator is missing that the common denominator has. It's missing the factor of x plus one. There it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna add one times what its denominator is missing that the common denominator has. 
Yes, x minus one. Okay, and then that's gonna be equal to that numerator two. And I'm gonna multiply it by what is the denominator is missing, the common denominator has. Mm-hmm, big fat one. Okay, finish him. Ooh, 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 ooh. X plus one plus X minus one. That's gonna be equal to two. Wait for it, wait for it. Divide. The number that went added to the number, the sum is none. That's the additive inverse. Uh-huh, X and X, that gonna give me two X is two. Okay, finish him. Uh-huh, division, oh boy. X turns out to be one, fun, but wait, you're done? No, you have to check it. Here's why. I plug it up there. What does it do to that? Oh no. One minus one is none. And you can never divide by zero. You can never divide by zero. You can never divide by zero. That's a domain restriction. X equals one, you are not a solution. What is the solution? There is no solution. This marker's done. Was this one?